Walmart has pants for $7.88, the tan pants. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Yay, Wednesday, hump day, halfway through the week. Um, I should be like freaking out because I make commission and my sales have been terrible this week. Absolutely terrible. Um, I guess because of back to school stuff. And like I'm a vacation planner, so you know, a lot of people are focused on back to school. Like I am focused on back to school and all the stuff, all the many things I need to do. I was just at Walmart and I forgot to get an iron. I cannot believe I forgot to get an iron because I have to iron on these school badges, which the school only had six to give me, six for three kids. So they have two shirts each until the school gets new badges. But I mean, I, I guess with like the supply chain issues, they know about that. So I'm sure I can send them to school without, um, without a badge probably. And that would be okay. But those supply chain issues have been messing things up for a lot of people. Even the uniform shop, they didn't have like a lot of the things that they were supposed to have. So luckily I found a lot of it on Amazon for much cheaper than going to like the uniform store. Just like getting crafty with what I type in for that. Go, go, go. Um, excited about Target though. I have not been to Target in so long and I literally love Target so much. Probably going to get myself a little birthday treat. It might be something like to do with fall or Halloween. And oh my gosh, I need to put my PTO in for Halloween day because the kids have Halloween day off at this school. I was like, what? Are they going to Hogwarts? Like what is going on? but I'm excited about that. So I will t gladly take Halloween day off. Mm, I don't know. I should actually find out if their dad is going to take that day off though because I believe that's on his week. So, but I have them that weekend. So he might wanna take that day off to be like fair and, and we'll just, I'm sure there's like a lot of Halloween stuff going on during the weekend and then they can have him on Halloween day for trick-or-treating and stuff. Get around this truck. Gotta get to Target. Gotta get to Target. Oh my gosh, there's TJ Maxx in that parking lot too. I gotta try to do this all before. Um, I have to at least leave. <clears throat> leave by 11. And I was at Walmart, so now it's 9.30. So I can leave by 11, maybe run into TJ Maxx. That way I'll be home in time to work. Work, work, work. I'm going to Chick fil A. Good morning, thank you, Chick fil A. How may I serve you? Good morning. Um, can I get an egg and cheese muffin and hash browns? An egg and cheese muffin? Mm -hmm. And hash browns? Uh, yep. Will that be all? Yep, that's all. I have any free order? Lisa. Lisa, would you like any sauces assignment? No, thank you. And then your toes 420 at the window. Alright, thanks. Field trip to Target, anyone? <laughs> Okay, I'm being real bad today, real bad today, but they gave me a good amount of napkins, so I got some more car napkins. Yay! <sighs> I just finished in Target, and it's 1027, so I have just enough time to run to TJ Maxx and probably Ross as well. I found everything I needed. I got Amelia's shoes, but she's super picky about her shoes, so I think I'm going to look for another pair and then let her pick one and take back whatever she doesn't want to keep. I don't know, I 
finished shopping just in time. It's 10.59. I went to Target, Ross, and TJ Maxx. Um, I got shoes from TJ Maxx and Target for Amelia, so we'll see which ones she likes and whatever she doesn't like or whatever doesn't fit, I will take back. All right, so I did a little bit of retail uh, therapy. Found these books, they were $8.99 at Ross. These I found at Target, they're $5.99 each. They were in the hearth and hand area, but I don't think they're hearth and hand, but they're super cute. So I got two of those and this was in the, it used to be the dollar spot, I forgot what it's called now, at Target. Um, and it was five dollars very pretty this I got from Ross and it got scratched up from the books they put it in the same bag but I might be able to go over it with like white paint or something it was only $4.99 and I thought it was cute and then I got this from Target as well it was five dollars and I thought that was really pretty I could put it on my couch or on my bed yeah, retail therapy. <laughs> Found these shoes for Amelia at Target, $29. But then I found some at TJ Maxx. So she needs tennis shoes. These were only $20 at TJ Maxx. And then these were $32. So perhaps she might like these more than the Target ones. I'm not sure. But that's basically all I got. This is just like uniform stuff that Target had. I got a cheap iron. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically all I got. I'm having these empanadas from Aldi for lunch and they're delicious. I like dipping them in sour cream. They're seriously so good oh my gosh becca delivered cookies to my house <gasps> that literally is the sweetest sweetest thing oh my gosh let's see oh my gosh let's go <gasps> ah, yummy look at this the, they look amazing mm, that one's mine the other ones are for the kids but look at mine lemon she knows me she gets me. so i'm just sitting here contemplating like what all to do what all to plan my sister and i are planning to do like a really cool halloween party so stay tuned for that it's gonna be Susanna and i wish becca could come but she lives in vegas so i'm sure there will be plenty of halloween things for her to do there <laughs> um we're yeah. already trying to plan Christmas. My dad's like, should we go to the beach? Like, okay, so last Christmas we did a remote Christmas. We went to the Villages Resort. It's in Flint, Texas, and they have an indoor water park. It was so much fun. And now my dad is like, okay, like, where are we going next? Like, let's do another remote, remote Christmas. So they're thinking like maybe a beach, but we're not 100% sure yet. So we need to get planning that a little bit more, but my dad's kind of like put the bug in our ears, like, hey, y'all want to go to a beach? I'll book it and just tell me like what resorts are there and what I should book because I am a, a travel planner. So he's like, let me know, where should I book? Just tell me, give me the word and it's done. My sister's in the group chat. Okay, literally, this is my favorite scene from Ariel. <laughs> It's my favorite line. You're too late. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't sound anything like her, but oh my gosh. Vanessa Slade. I don't know if anybody else thinks that, but I thought Vanessa was like goals. The way Vanessa sang with Ariel's voice, like Ursula's got Ariel's stolen pipes. It was just like, whoa. I'm listening to some Christian music, just kind of like worshiping a little bit and ending my day, ending my day. I feel better, a lot better. So today, like literally Rebecca sending me those cookies, 
really made me so happy like seriously made me so happy and then um just like going shopping this morning that kind of helped a little bit and I was still a little bit stressed out working but um luckily it was a pretty good day and it turned around in the end things are still really stressful at work but hopefully like these next two days won't be that bad and hopefully I'll, I'll do some good work um I'm excited for the weekend because my brother is coming into town Isaac so can't wait to see him if you didn't know I have three brothers and two sisters. So there's six of us. And my parents had three girls and three boys, which is perfect. Except for the order is a little messy because poor Joe. So basically it was me first, then Becca, then Joe was born and then poor guy, Susanna was born. So he was like surrounded by girls. And then later on, Daniel and Isaac, <laughs> So poor Joe. <laughs> yeah. He loves it though. He loves being surrounded by girls. I would like to read right now, but I'm kind of like, I don't know if anybody ever gets in the mode of like, after you work, you just don't know what to do with yourself. You're just like, what do I do? And like time goes by and you like kind of waste that time because you're just like, I don't know what I want to do. I just want to be a blob, I guess. A blob that does nothing. <laughs> but I've been kind of like chit-chatting with my sisters, so I haven't been that much of a blog, but I have been just like on my phone and stuff instead of doing something productive like reading or organizing or whatever. That's okay. Everyone deserves to be a blob at some point, at least once a year, maybe twice if you're lucky. And Maverick City music is literally so good. I love it so much. Maverick City music and Passion. Is it Passion City Church, I think? Are they both city? Yeah, Passion City, yeah. Wait, is it? No, Passion. What? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up. This is terrible because I've been there because Becca and Peter used to live in Atlanta, so we'd go to Passion all the time. Is it Passion City or just Passion? Whatever, it's super good. I love their worship as well. Very good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now, I think. It's 10.10 and I have a lot to do tomorrow. So with school starting back, but I'll catch you guys later. Bye.